What up, people? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy in the dating game. I'm here with my, my little sister, Sakina. Sakina Iman. Yeah, and, and this is her boyfriend right here. The Bay. That's the Bay, you feel me? So we, we, we want to talk about, because you, you, you had this poem that you did a while yes. ago. And, and, and uh, it was you was talking about like how guys always care about the, how many, um, you know. Right, how many females, or not females, how many men, they're female. Has slept with yeah, so how so like what's the number of guys you you mess with? Right, so that's the body like big, count. Yeah, that's like the big thing. So, so so why so why do you think guys care? I mean, I know why they care. First of all, guys care because they real insecure. <laughs> all right, they have to know what's been up there before they've been up there to know their competition. Mm. They will stalk these mofo's on Instagram mm. and try to see what's up. Yeah, I've seen this before. Oh, um, not speaking from experience, but um, <clears throat> I think that's why. I honestly think that's why. It's, it's, it comes from insecurity. It comes mm. from from not being secure in yourself. If you're a secure man, mm. you're going to know that, you know, no matter who's been where, that you are the one that you're <coughs> with now, and that's all that matters. Well, the thing is this, you know, I, like, like, I think because well, I to me I don't care I don't I don't give a fuck how many <laughs> exactly. how many dudes you that confident. Are, no but that's but see that's the thing is that because a lot of guys okay because men and women we're, we're different right you understand so uh, guys think this is what most guys think they mm-hmm. think that women are out here only having sex with like one dude in their life they're out of home right. knitting sweaters and and reading the Bible <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying I think, until, I think until they meet you or whatever what you, what you I think it's a couple of things I think it's uh it's a fantasy type thing mm-hmm. right. um a lot of guys um because society pushes this mm-hmm. you know some parts of society want you to have like a hundred virgins mm-hmm. and then the other parts of society tells you that oh the more the, um, the less sex partners she has she's like closer to a virgin so. A lot of guys are just trying to get something that's closest to a virgin because that's supposed to be some type of pure or something. Like a, like right. a, higher quality. And guys yeah. are also that's, ignorant too because a lot of guys don't understand like the elasticity of a woman's vagina. The thing mm. is, most men assume mm. that if a woman has sex with a lot of people, that she uh, all of a sudden has like a loose vagina. Mm. When really, a woman can have a baby and still have a skin tight vagina. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So it's like people don't understand like the vagina snaps back. And there's actually women who are virgins. Who could have a wider vagina than a woman who's been had many multiple partners only because a woman who has had multiple partners she knows how to kegel which is like literally exercising the muscles of your mm-hmm. walls in your vagina so you think there's a misunderstanding yeah there's a misunderstanding that, that and, and, maybe and judge, it's going to be better if yeah. she's like the actual right, sex that it might is be better, better with someone who's had less partners right some the, people think the, the, ir- the that irony that, that a lot of guys would um mm-hmm. sleep with somebody and be like oh her sex is whack and she probably had mad sexual partners so right, that just exactly. means that it doesn't matter how much sexual right. It doesn't matter how much sexual partners you had, or it doesn't matter mm. how how little sexual partners you had. Because a woman, because I know men, for example, I know men uh, or women who wants mm. to know a guy's body count too. And there's women who will prefer a guy who doesn't have a lot of sexual partners because they don't want that guy to have a woman to compare to as well. That's- well, also too, I think what happens is because I've heard this a, a few times where, um, so guys will say that if a woman has b- a bunch of sex with a whole bunch of dudes, she's She's sort of taking on uh, a lot of the energy of the guy she had from before, you know what I mean? But this is the but this you're is a the, spiritual person, right? You're right, but this is the thing I, I don't I don't I don't uh, totally agree with that. What I what I say is this is that um, I look at it like this: if I went to if I went to London this week, mm-hmm. right? I don't think I'm gonna come back next week with a London accent. You understand right. what I'm saying? So right, right. if a woman <laughs> so if a woman had sex with with this guy, she had a one night stand with that guy. She had a one night stand with this guy. She's not gonna really have Come that. Come that bag, have that bag. Exactly that right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If she was with a dude for a long time, yeah. then that's a different story. So right. a woman could be with a guy for ten years, and I get with her, and she has that baggage from the other dude mm-hmm. versus me having sex with a girl who had sex with ten different guys in a right. year. Right. You know, on some one night stand shit. It would. You, you see what I'm saying? Right. 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 So. So that's the thing where it's like it's like that difference of a of a of a of a situation. The only thing I would say is the difference between men and women is that men generally just on a um on a physical level, right? Mm-hmm. Like we could go and have sex and bang like a whole bunch of girls and still physically be okay to do it. But for a woman, you know, and it's, unless you're like a porn star or something, if you bang like a whole bunch of guys at one time, you know, let's say you bang like. 
ten guys and like, like they're gonna be emotionally involved with those. Well, not necessarily guys. emotionally, but I'm saying physically, like you can't, you your vagina can't take that much. Pounding. I see what you mean. I see what you mean. You're gonna, I mean, that's you're different. gonna need that's to rest different. it, right? That's what I'm right, saying. Right, right, right. That's, that's the only difference. I feel like I feel like I feel actually. like most the majority of women. I mean, I don't know about the majority of women, but I, I, I first of all, it's 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 science. Science scientifically, women mm. do have more sexual partners than men, um, oh, yeah. and it could be up to double. Right, the, oh, twice of course, as much. Yeah, and it says that in many. I, I would science, say triple. Many, but right, no, no, right. That'll be yeah, that'll be a lot. But no, but it's scientifically proven that women have multiple, way more sex partners than men. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's just a fact. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Why? Because women actually need more sex, right, and more attention. They like women equate love to sex, and so mm -hmm. like it's it's actually proven scientifically that a woman's brain needs a little more dopamine than a man mm -hmm. to be stable mm -hmm. because we we can we're more prone to depression. So it's like mm -hmm. it's like a woman's body actually needs more sex, and people don't or, understand that. Or on the lighter side of things, that's slight, light. A slight a slight uh, a slight <laughs> bit of a de um, devil advocate type of thing. Mm -hmm. Some guys that inquire about women's numbers, they're trying to like. Check out the probability of prom promiscuity. Um, promiscuity. Like, yeah, right. Like, yeah. So, so, they, so they're thinking if she has a lot of sex partners, then she's probably just jumping from guy to guy to guy, right. and, mm -hmm. and possibly she'll just be jumping from me to somebody else to somebody else. Right. Some people equate um, that type of um, number with loyalty and, mm -hmm. and, 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 and certain things like that. So, mm -hmm. on, on the lighter on the lighter side to, so, side of it, where you could understand it to a certain degree, because this goes for either gender because right. if because if you because uh, if you get with a guy and he's like yeah i slept with 500 women the, the, first, thing you, the first thing you're thinking is like all right <laughs> what's the probability that right, we're right, gonna right. be together and be right. having to be in a relationship right. and get married and settle right. down and you know say so so um that that yeah. that's probably the only good reason i could see about uh, uh see uh, about somebody asking that yeah because and, and, and still it's none of your business <laughs> <laughs> No, no, because no, 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 they actually had a statistics, I think, that said that women who have more sex partners are least likely to be be faithful in a, in a marriage or a long-term relationship. And to me, I don't necessarily think it's specifically, this, this is this is what I think, I don't think it's specifically about the number of sex partners. I think if, if that's the case, I think it's the, the amount of, uh, you know, bad encounters that may have her in a bitter state, mm -hmm. which causes her to not be able to right. connect with someone. Because they'll say, well, she has so much sex, so it's gonna be hard for her to, to bond with somebody. Right. But it, but it's like, if she's, if, she's had, if she's had a whole bunch of sex with, let's say she had like sex with like 50 guys, mm -hmm. and all 50 of those guys kind of just was like, bang, 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 I right, fuck out of here. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> so now she's bitter about dudes. Mm -hmm. So now when she gets to you, What's gonna happen is even if you're the the, 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 the most awesome guy ever, like mm -hmm. God created you to be the best guy on earth. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? For yeah. her. For her. She's yeah. going to still feel a certain type of way because she's still gonna feel like, oh, you're just like the rest of them and you're gonna be like this. I can see well, that. Well, you see what I'm saying? I so I don't think it's necessarily the I, sex. I think it's more I, so the energy the experience. And the experience. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. I honestly think that eighty um y'all could they gonna be mad at me. Like eighty percent of the people out here is jacked up. 80%. I mean, that's no, that's that's actually, but what's your I'm definition of jacked up? What, 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 I'll explain. 80% of the people is, is jacked up. So once you come across these 80%, you most likely mo will not be able to connect with them. You know what I'm saying? Because remember, um, there's a lot of faking going on when it, when it comes to like um, mm. interactions. So people interact initially with their um what they what they representative. Call it? Their, their representative exactly. and stuff like that and but and before you know it y'all end up having sex and then boom the new the real person comes out then you realize that I can't really connect to, to that person mm, some type exactly. of way and then you end up moving on to to um so to, a fake to, person to, to another fake person. <laughs> so you're so, talking about like a almost like somebody who's who's helping that person to get over their last No no all, all I'm saying like is, a rebound? All, all, all I'm saying is if you end up a lot of people end up with a lot of partners because people out here is jacked up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So 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 if you take if you take end up dating ten guys or ten mm -hmm. girls, if you end up taking ten guys or ten girls, and these people were not um because sex don't connect you. Mm -hmm. right. Sex is just a it's just like an event, it's like a sport. You mm -hmm. know, right. sex don't sex don't connect you. Sometimes it feels like it, like you oh sex sex sex, sex 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 is great and everything like mm -hmm. and, uh, everything like Are you that. You're always competing or winning in the sport? Oh, what in um what, 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 the event of well, well, sex? Well, 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 we always like um yeah, we like competition. <laughs> Bring it on. You know what I'm saying? But the thing about it is, is that that's not that's not gonna sex don't seal the deal. Even though a lot of people wish it would, mm -hmm. but sex don't ab absolutely don't seal the deal. And then once that does doesn't work out, you move you kind of move on. And 
That's why some people may end up with a lot of partners. And this is why I'm saying the connection is really um, about... Because, like, for example, a, a, a guy that's saying the whole thing about, well, uh, that girl that's with you is going to have your energy and she's going to be susceptible to how you are. And then if I get with her because you was fucking her and all this, it's more so, it's more so because I've had an influence on her uh, mentally and emotionally. You understand? I feel like that's more of an um, instance where she'll be a certain type of way versus if I just had sex with her for seven minutes. You feel what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, honestly, I feel like men, uh, men are a little bit too like narcissistic and egotistical <clears throat> in a sense because men will sort of like assume that their presence in this woman's life um, is like the end all be all like Oh, like, like, <laughs> and, and so it's like, and so it's like when they, when I think that the, the, because they feel that mm -hmm. way, they feel like if she's had, you know, all these men, guys, that right. it's like, oh my god, like they have, they have like either like tainted her or destroyed her or put mm -hmm. put her in a way where I cannot mold, you know, right. or or have sort of an influence that I want to have because mm -hmm. she's already, it's almost like she's already like a dirty washcloth, you know. Right, right. So it's like it's like throw <laughs> that chick away, you know what I'm saying? Like she's already been bruised and battered and beaten, and mm -hmm. so it's like you know figuratively, figuratively and and literally. So it's like. I think that's what it is when really men don't understand that women are the most resilient creatures. Like we literally create life. Like you, we created you. You came out of vagina. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like the fact that you came out of a vagina, or came out of a woman and she still beat your ass like 20 years later. You know what I'm saying? Like I think, like, right. It's like, it's, it's like people's ass. mothers could still whip their ass oh, okay. when, like, they, they, when they in their mid-20s. That's what I'm saying. Like, like. Of the fact that a woman can mm. can do all these things and build and still work and still feed you and still mm. like have like we are some of the most powerful beings in the world. But see, this so is the, the fact so for men to feel mm. like as if a woman can't have multiple partners and then come out still strong and still like not like I feel like people should see this. All right, if you have had multiple partners, you've had experience, you understand life, mm. you have all this stuff to offer. Mm. Like how can she not have gained from that's, those last? That's experiences? what I. That's what I'm you know saying? saying. That's what I. Like, no, I, I, I well, well, with, that. well, that well, that that's 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 the outlook when it comes to men. Mm -hmm. A lot of women, um, if if a girl say, "Well, he's good in bed," she knows that she's, she'll say he's experienced. It's yeah. right. Re it's regular. It's just not regular when it's when the, when the role is reversed. Right. Mm -hmm. Why not? Where because because of society. society but also, but also society, too, but also too. Makes, this is my thing: like is that, that women mm -hmm. women are susceptible to um, uh, the influence of a man. And so what I'm saying is, is that when guys are saying, "Well, she's not going to be able to bond with me," I feel like that's on you for not being able to create that bond. Exactly. It's not, you see what I'm saying? It's exactly. Not, you know that's, what I'm saying? Like, that's like almost saying, that's like almost saying I've had a million, I've had five friends in my life right. and I have no room for any more. <laughs> right. How dare you? And they're like, it's almost like. Especially if you're using um, sex to only bond. Like, right. Right, right. Right. Especially if that's your only way of bonding. If, like, if sex is there's your some only, people who don't sex, know how to. Right. If sex is your only way of bonding, just like throw the whole person away. Right. <laughs> You know what no, I'm saying? saying? That's what I'm saying. Exactly. That's what I'm saying because exactly. they'll say, well, well, she since she had a lot of sex partners, she's not able to pair bond. And again, this is why I was saying that it's not about the sex partners. It's about her experiences will make... I've been with women who they've had experiences and it kind of made them feel a certain type of way about men in general. Right. But then what happened is, is when, when they met me, you feel what I'm saying? They're like, oh shit, you're like... And, and I'm not saying this is too my own horn, but I've had this said to me <laughs> like cool. verbatim. I'm just saying this is what they, they said. Look... You're the best guy I've ever been with. I've okay. never been with a guy like you. Okay. Yada, yada. I'm just saying that because what I'm saying is that when, you, when you're when you that dude, you're able to, like you said, because guys mm -hmm. think like they want to create mm -hmm. the woman this uh, in a certain way. They can, mm -hmm. but most don't think they could, which see, is what, why. See, what's funny, uh, what's funny is that, what's funny is that like, okay, every guy has said this to me too. Right. Like, I, I have like every single guy I've been with mm -hmm. has told me I'm the best mm -hmm. woman they've ever been with, right? right? And I'm not saying that to my own. I'm saying that because I thought guys said that to lie, but really, I know. No, seriously, but I know every single guy that I've ever been with still, and they still tell me till this day. Mm. I'm still like literally guys I've been with ten years mm. ago still to this day tell me that guys I've been with five years mm. ago still to this day tell me I'm the best girlfriend that they've been with. Right. So it's like, why? I feel like honestly, I'm best. I'm one of the best, or I am the best in their life because of my experience. Mm. But like, because if I if I didn't learn from you know Dick, Tom, and Harry. Like how to be a, a woman in a relationship, then I feel like they wouldn't reap the benefits of, of, of who I am today. Right, because you know exactly because you got the experience, 
then what happens is, is that they get to experience a situation with you where you're better equipped to be in a relationship. Mm -hmm. You see right. what I'm saying? But see, the, but it, well, but also too, rela relationships is definitely a learn a learning experience. Right. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, the, the, I think the problem with a lot of relationships, that's why numbers, people asking for numbers and a bunch of retarded questions mm -hmm. come come up, is because everybody's dating out of fear. Like people, oh, yeah. right. people, people are dating in fear. <laughs> like, oh, I'm, how many guys have you been with? Oh my gosh, Yo, you live at home? Uh, how, much, how much money do you make? You know what I'm saying? Do you go out? Do you wear Jordans? You know what I'm saying? Do you know how to date? Do you, like, it's what's scared. Your like, 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 what's your credit score? Like, right. everybody's dating, dating, dating scared. Mm. And once, you, once you're dating scared, it's hard to... Um, you don't got a bachelor's? Relation. Like, you don't got a bachelor's? How are we going to make money? How are we going to make money? Well, how are we going to live in 10 years? Like, <laughs> man, I just met you. Right. Like, calm right. down. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's Things crazy. could change, you know? We can, oh, we, we, my we, life, we, we, I had to fight. <laughs> Exactly. So people, people, they really, really scared, and that's why numbers will come up, and that's why all these other uh, retarded stuff will, uh, will, will will come up. Get to know the person that who you date with, and um. Uh, in water, children, wait. In water. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> Uh, oh God! No, stop, it's, it's, stop being scared. You don't got to know a number. Oh you know man! Stop, stop dating in fear. Look, no, look dating in fear. You know what? You know what it is? Dating in fear destroys relationships mm -hmm. immediately. Right. You know it's just good at the beginning, and then after the fear finally settles in, that's why people jump from person to person. Listen, because all the women, ninety percent of the women you deal with are having sex with multi or have had sex with multiple right. guys. Just understand, just accept it. They're having more sex than you. Accept, accept it. Accept that. Your female most likely has more sex than you. The funny thing right. is, they say that women, when when a, when a man asks a woman her number, it was a funny uh, movie that I saw. They said that women actually divide their number by three. Right. And, and the men multiply right. their number right. by right. two. You know <laughs> so, so it's like. That's what I'm saying. So, so the thing is, you know, there are going to be, the women you meet, most 99, 90% of the women you meet, mm -hmm. they're going to. Uh, either at the same time you met them while you're dating them, have, have be having sex with multiple guys, or they have had sex with multiple guys. Because I hear guys say, if she had more, if she has sex with more than two guys, she's a hoe. Or if she has sex with more than three guys, I'm never right. dating her. Right. Right. For the confident hoe to walk in. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, be here in you ten know, minutes. Right? You know, there's a there's a funny thing. Is a it's a perception thing. Mm -hmm. We know, and I'm about to say, we know right now, mm -hmm. if a girl or a guy wanted to have. Multiple sex tonight. Mm. Who do you think is gonna? Who's multiple sex right. with, with multiple? You know, with right. multiple people. Mm. Who is gonna pull it off on, on the general scale? Yeah, the, right. the woman. The woman. Exactly. It's not the for, it's, it's more accessible we for know, women and to have sex. And this and this Period. and this is stuff we know. So I don't know. We're why all guys, human beings, and we all are sexual. Right. If it's more accessible for one than the other. But see, guys do don't. But see, this is the thing. Guys believe women aren't like that. You understand? Because and, and, and so, that's sad. No, but it's partly and it's sad because partly is because women have to sort of put up a front in society mm, because right. we're saying, well, you ladies are fucked up if you have sex. So the women will say, well. I'm gonna act like I'm not having sex. So when when they talk to mm -hmm. men, they're mm -hmm. acting like they don't have sex. So right. the guys think that women aren't having sex. So when they meet a woman who's yes. actually having sex, or they find out she's having sex, they're like, "What's wrong with you?" And it's right. like, "There's nothing wrong with her. It's just right. you thought." Right. By, because it's wrong with society, your thought process. Society, society is jacked up. Right. Like women women get a lot of women can't even breastfeed outside. It's a totally natural thing. Right. Right. And it's an issue. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And that's exactly. how and that's how jacked up society is. Exactly. Perception on women. Exactly. And everything goes. The fact that a woman mm -hmm. can actually like be literally bleeding mm. while walking and still working and still take your pulse and be your whole nurse and your whole doctor <laughs> and your whole lawyer and your whole teacher. The fact that women can actually walk around the lot and do this, whereas a, a man That's will have crazy. one cut. The man will have one cut on his finger and then like the whole, gotta get an ambulance. <laughs> My finger. That's why y'all crazy because like, y'all can walk around right, bleeding. Right, no, exactly. So that's why we're so strong. Until a man can walk around literally bleeding from his his one of his main organs, like until a man can say that he can do that, I want y'all to come back to me and tell me that you're stronger, that you have the strength. I know a guy that did that. That's why I kicked him in his butt. In his nuts. He walked around bleeding for a while. He had duty too. <laughs> I've been in the military for a long time, so this probably don't apply. Uh, so anyway, to end this, <laughs> we're going to have say, the camera lady. We, we need Sakina and, and Miss Inessa to, to tell us where we can find more of their stuff. Oh yeah, where you can find you guys' stuff at. Check me out 
S A K I N A F H L U V S. S A K I N A H L U V S. So that's Sakina Loves. Love spelled the hood way. <laughs> and um, yeah, I got all my music, all my stuff on my website that you're going to find in that link. I'm Matt Sinissa. You can find me on Massinissa NYC on Instagram. From there, you can get my web website. It's spelled M A S S I N I S S A and then N Y C. One word. M A S S I N I S S A. You can find our links on the bottom. Yeah, put the links there and then check out their music. The music is fire, so check out their music. You feel what I'm saying? We out. And what's that? What's that? He wants to know my number. Oh, I got a video coming out called So You Really Want to Know or He Wants to Know. I'm going to figure it out. But anyways, you're going to find it on our website. So uh, just check out Sakina Loves and you're going to see it there. All right. We out. Peace. Now, before you turn off this video, I want you to do three quick things. One, I want you to click the link below to send me a question. If you have a question on dating and relationships, I'll make a video about it. Two, I want you to click the link under that to get my free audio program, Undeniable Game, which teaches you seven easy to follow tips on how to really attract beautiful women. And three, I want you to click the link under that one to go to Bad Boy Membership, where you get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. What's up? It's dating and life coach, Mr. Locario. Go to Bad Boy Membership dot com and master the dating game by joining my bad boy membership program in this program you'll receive 45 through 90 minute easy to follow step-by-step -step dating advice tutorials that's guaranteed to help you attract date and have sex with beautiful women join the bad boy membership today by going to badboymembership.com that's badboymembership.com